Disclaimer. Persona 5 is one of my favorite gaming series and I deeply love Persona 5. This video is meant for entertainment purposes and is in no way meant to make the game look bad or say the story is stupid. Any offense you take to this video is your own fault. Persona 5 is an amazing game, a perfect blend of RPG mechanics and a social simulator, a tale of kids fighting against society and even God himself, I love this game. But one thought I just couldn't shake was whether or not it was morally right to change people's hearts. Another thing that was weird for me is how this seems to go against a lot of themes in Japanese media, from anime to video games. Japanese entertainment always features themes of humans fighting some god or defeating some entity to maintain their own free will. Think about a game like Nier Automata. Nier is a game about cycles, the repetition of history in order to maintain order, to keep the status quo. Characters unable to evolve and learn from their mistakes, clinging to old ideas despite them being proven not to work. All of this culminating the entire collapsed society that we once knew, and at the end of the game, we're left with one question. Can these characters change? Can they make the decisions we want them to make and to make the reality we desire true? If And if you notice something, these two robots are aware of what's going on. They know everything that will happen because they have done it before and despite that, they don't directly get involved themselves. They ask the question if the cycle can be broken because the choice of changing the future, the choice of changing and growing as a person, making better decisions, isn't their choice to make but the characters. And their only role in this is to reset the chaos and let things play out how they will. Let's take a look at Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now I don't think I understand much about Neon Genesis, but I do understand this part. I mean, come on, I, I do have a galaxy brain. No, multiversal brain. But uh, th this is a spoiler for the original ending. Um, So if you haven't seen Neon Genesis, slight spoiler. <laughs> the end of Ava is about the death of individuality. Through the Ava program, the angels, the cataclysmic events known as Impex, Gendo wants to combine humanity into one giant sea of consciousness. Through this, humans will no longer feel fear, feel pain, no longer feel lonely or unfulfilled. We will all become one and solve all of the problems that can be associated with our needs as humans. The only caveat being that we were to lose our sense as an individual. Who we are, the way we think, our desires, all of that will be molded together with everyone else and in the end we will lose what makes us, us. At, at least I think that's what the ending was about. <laughs> that's just two examples of how this theme is prevalent in Japanese media. The theme of freedom, not wanting to be controlled, being left to our own devices, slaying gods who dare to try to dictate how we should live our lives, even if it's for the greater good, and rebelling against any attempt that would change our very nature. Any attempt to make me a better person, screw you! Because humanity is the good and the bad, and at our essence, that freedom to learn and make decisions shapes us at our core. Which is why Persona 5 stands out to me, because this seems to go against a lot of Japanese media. Usually the characters forcing us to be better are the villains, because I'll be damned if someone forces me to be a better person. But is this act morally right? Now while we could go on about our personal beliefs and argue amongst each other, let's turn to the great philosophers. One line of philosophy that may help us in this situation is utilitarianism. Utilitarianism dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, and all actions regardless of the individual should be taken to promote the greatest amount of happiness. Meaning you yourself do not matter, it is the collective over the individual and decisions to make that collective better off are more important than decisions that are that benefit you. Looking at the scenarios in Persona 5 through a utilitarian lens, the philosophy would likely agree with the decision of the Phantom Group. You have people in power assaulting and taking advantage of the people around them, but due to their status, due to the people protecting them, they seem impossible to stop. A teacher who abuses his students and even pushes one to suicide. A corrupt politician running for president who abuses women. These are definitely people who can affect large sums of society, so under utilitarianism, it would be good to change their hearts. As again, individual freedoms do not matter, what benefits the most amount of people does. While I think utilitarianism would agree with those situations, I don't think they would agree with what goes on in the mementos. The mementos is a representation of the consciousness of society, and through this we can even change some of the individuals who live in Japan. But is that utilitarian? 
is ism utilitarian in. but it is that for the greater good individuals with no power no place in society where their actions will only affect maybe one other person they mean nothing to the collective so under utilitarianism it would be okay to change the heart of say an abusive t-shirt but not the heart of a guy who sits a litter to attest to a girl that he likes so if utilitarianism can't help us and let's get a bit personal maybe we should just change the hearts of people that we consider bad but where does this stop? Committing crimes, sure, but a clingy ex-boyfriend? People who cheat at fucking video games? At this point, can I just change my friends so that they can buy me more things when I ask? Make it so my friend stops chewing with her mouth open? Jesus fucking Christ, close your mouth, woman. And while you may think them that that might be a bit extreme, it causes me pain listening to people choose with their mouth open. Physical, mental distress. If we can change the hearts of someone who cheats at a video game, I can make it so that people stop chewing with their mouth open. My point is, is it right to change people's nature? Is it right to force them to grow to rob them of the experience and journey of realizing it themselves? What kind of person would I be without the consequences of my actions? Without going through the path to becoming a better person? Also is it right to change me? If I want to cheat at video games, is it okay for you to change that about me? Clingy exes. Some people like clingy people, some people enjoy the constant attention and companionship. And while this is just a fictional story, we actually can change people with medicine and surgery, removing parts of the brain, using medicine like antidepressants and move changes to affect the way people think. Should anyone with mental health issues be forced to take mandatory drugs? Should people who spend too much time with their work instead of their friends have to take medicine to make them more considerate? Now it's a bit hard to talk about this when, you know, discussing like literal sexual assault i mean if you ask anyone if we if we should magically change the minds of you know sexual offenders so that they'll never do that again you know most people will probably say yes but from a moral standpoint i kind of disagree with it on the premise people are who they are and we shouldn't rob them of the chance to you know learn and grow from what they're doing you know go down the path of discovery and even then who decides who should be changed if i want to be a, a drunk gambler my whole life because i think that's so so much fun and exciting and the endorphins i get from it is just so amazing I, I mean in persona 5 i would probably be eligible for you know having my heart changed but i think that people should just be allowed to live or fail based on their own actions and if they're never going to learn from their action they should just be doomed to fail or you know if it's a crime spend the rest of their life in jail i don't know i wanted to talk about this more broadly than get into you know specific examples or extremes because anything can seem like a good decision when you list extreme examples you know think about the nsa spying on everyone you know when you when you put you know having everything person about you collected by the government up against you know fighting terrorism <laughs> You know, it starts to not feel like a big deal until you start to realize that, uh, you know, that information is actually being used for other purposes and other reasons. And, you know, I just feel like it's a lot more gray than black and white. So I ask you, viewer, is it morally right to change people's hearts? If I could change Donald Trump's heart to make him have more, I don't know, pro-immigration policies, can someone else change Bernie Sanders' heart to make him hate rich people less? I don't know. <laughs> so this is the end of the video. Thank you to anyone who clicked on it and watched to the end. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub to my channel and peace. Thanks for watching.